Welcome to the channel, everybody. Yes, another episode of Found on Amazon. Been a little bit since we've seen one of these. Um, it's been a little bit difficult to try to find stuff that's kind of different and unique on Amazon. Typically, what I try to do is I try to get stuff that you can either only get on Amazon or, or pretty much for the most part, you can only get on Amazon. This is not one of those things. This is uh, Mayesto. This is their mini work machines, the Bobcat. These are licensed uh, models. This is a four-pack. Um, I bought these because they are pretty difficult to find at retail. Um, I've never seen these in a store ever. Um, not even in, in like a, a Big R or nothing like that. Um, none of those uh, like factor tractor supply stores, none of that stuff either. Uh, there was some similar stuff during the holidays, but uh, none of these Bobcat ones. So I wanted to take a look at these. Uh, also, because, you know, I like construction trucks here at Level M. And uh, I want to take a look at them as well see just uh, how how cheap they are it is not taped shut um, and as you can see it's only a four pack pretty typical sets in a plastic tray so there's nothing fancy with it uh, first one here is the tracked loader um, so I drop it there we go sorry about that uh, this one is all plastic there's I don't think there's any metal on this at all maybe this might be metal just the canopy section here I think the canopy section is the only thing that's metal. So it's like about 75% plastic, 25% uh, metal on this particular model. Uh, it does have uh, moving features, clearly. It does go up and down. And then, of course, it does dump the bucket, which is fine. Uh, it should go up significantly higher than that, um, but that's as high up as it goes. See, that's not very high relative to the model itself. So um, pretty decent prints on this. It does have the Bobcat logo there on the front. Bobcat logo again there, a little bit of print on the side. The actual word Bobcat in the back. The rear prints look good. Again, Bobcat print on there. Making sure you know what you're looking at. Um, it's it's not 164 scale. It's uh, too small for that. It's probably maybe like 158-ish scale. It's, a, it's an odd scale. Uh, obviously, no real tracks or anything on the on the model here. Just the little tires, so nothing on the base. It's it's actually uh, quite underwhelming. Uh, I'll uh, I'll be honest. I actually thought that might be something a little bit cool. So not exactly starting on the great the greatest feat. Uh, this is a kind of like one of those uh, John Deere Gators. I'm sure Bobcat has a name for it. Um, there you go, Bobcat Toolkit. There you go. That's uh, pretty original. Uh, this does have a plow on the front, which a little bit of extra print in the black looks pretty good. Uh, it just goes up, and the plow does its full thing. But as far as the uh, lifting on the front arm, that's about as far as it goes. Again, it looks like just the cab section here is metal. It's just the outer cab. Plastic interior on that as well. Bobcat on the side. It says uh, all-wheel steer. That the folks a little bit. All-wheel steer. Uh, regular Maesto wheels on it, nothing fancy. It says 4x4 four four on the back as well. No prints on the back. Um, I've seen some of these before. Um, despite what it looks like, uh, that does not tilt. It doesn't do anything. It is fixed despite looking like it has hinges on the back. Um, it's it's fixed. Uh, it, it, there's nothing you can do. It's just, it's just there. So it's all right. I mean, it looks kind of cool. This one actually looks not too bad. Um, there wasn't a lot of stuff for them to cheap out on this particular one. So uh, this one's actually pretty good. So I'll take that one as a win. Um, but that other tracked one was was pretty terrible. Uh, another tracked one. This one is going to be uh, the exact same one we just looked at. This just has the uh, grabber attachment on the front, which is uh, pretty menacing. Uh, looks like it's definitely going to eat you alive. Looks pretty good. Um, the top section here is one piece. You know, this is to, you know, grab like shrubs or maybe some uh, uh, fallen trees or something like that. Or felled trees. Uh, but it looks pretty good. Again, doesn't go up all that far, but has the same pivot as the bucket did. That extra little uh, attachment piece there on it. It uh, doesn't have the unit number. doesn't have the model number. Nothing like that. It's, it's pretty basic. I'm fairly certain they make this one and the other one exactly the same. Uh, and then just add a new attachment on it, which is which is fine. Which is fine. All right, the last one in here is probably going to be the more um, interesting one, hopefully. Uh, this one is the... 
it just says Bobcat on the bottom. It just says Bobcat, but it's uh it's uh, like a telehandler. Got a bucket on the top here for some people. It doesn't have a multi-stage boom, so you can't extend this out, not even once. It's it's one fixed piece, um, but it does go down. And then you just move the platform so that it sits level with the ground. It goes up a little bit and goes down. That's, that's the extent of it. The operator cab looks pretty good. It's got a nice cage on it, kind of covered up. Again, mostly plastic. There is a little bit of metal back here. You can tell by the print. So just this little rear section is metal, which actually goes through the middle here. So I guess it's a little bit of metal. It doesn't look all that good. The outriggers on the front are fixed. Uh, they are completely fixed. So it does sit uh, pretty close to the ground. But uh, like you can't you can't put enough weight in it really to do anything. Um, but it, it kind of counterbalances a little bit. Uh, looks significantly better from this side just because the prints on it, which looks pretty good. There you go. There is your unit number right there or the model number. So that's kind of cool. Um, like just a static wise model. This one looks okay. These are a lot cheaper than I thought. Uh, these are really, really cheap. I mean, I know that they're trying to make some moving features, but these are really, really cheap. Um, I'm actually uh, a little bit disappointed that uh, Maestro actually decided to do those because of how cheap they are. Um, they look good in the package, but uh, execution-wise, uh, they're they're pretty bad. They're pretty bad. This pack was, I think that pack was like fifteen bucks. Um, just put that on the side. It was like fifteen bucks for that pack. It, I think that's pretty expensive because you figure, I mean, you're spending like three or four dollars a vehicle. It's 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 pretty far up there. All right, I got one of these, uh, and if you guys have seen me unbox stuff from Amazon before, uh, this uh, Oriate brand, this is the super made in China brand that knocks off everything. It says various styles, variety of colors, bring fun to children, exclusive collection, all kinds of just ridiculous stuff on the side that really doesn't make sense. And then there is a massive amount of mumbo jumbo on the back. There are six models in here, uh, and these six models are going to be uh, pretty much complete ripoff of Matchbox, and uh, I like to get this ripoff stuff for some reason. It just cracks me up. Now, typically, you'll get a knockoff model, but usually you don't get knockoff decos. This one's interesting. All right, so this is the first one here. I can tell you this pack is like trash truck, cleaner truck type uh, themed, um, that kind of stuff. We'll get this popped out of there. There is your trash truck, your generic trash truck. Uh, this is ripped off from Matchbox, 100%. It's almost uh, exactly spit and copy, just, just really, really ugly. So got one up there for you guys to take a look at. I don't know if this one's been in this new deco theme. So this is actually modeled off of this deco theme here. So that is Matchbox's new kind of city services uh, deco theme with uh, green and gray. But this is the ripoff. You see the little dots and stuff in there, little dots and stuff in there. Of course, it does say City Services, just like the Matchbox one does. Same deco uh, colors and stuff like that. Same same theme and whatnot. Uh, but this is the one from this year for Matchbox. This is number 32 for 2024. Just wanted to showcase that. This model doesn't have anything with it. Uh, it's kind of cool that it has some trash in the top. It's kind of cool in that fake... That fake casting, um, and then of course, it doesn't actually like dump, um, but at least it goes up. It's, it's okay. And then of course, there is your junk on the bottom. Made in China, which is not that great. Oh, there you go. Look at that. There is the exact spit and copy of that one. Get this out of the bag. Get that out of there. We'll get our trash truck. There you go. There is the OG on the top and then the uh, fake fake carbon copy of the one on the bottom. The made in China junk one on the bottom. See it is exact. It is exact. 100% rip off. Uh, the assembly of the model is clearly different but it's, it's just such a rip. It's such a rip. I mean they change enough to where like they can get away with it but it's, it's so cheap. It's so cheap. It's super cheap. Now, one thing that they did add that I actually do kind of like is it does have one moving feature. 
Uh, so you can pop open that in the back. Although you can't really do anything with it. It just does that. But at least it opens up. At least it's something. As far as the base deeds, look at that. They even mimicked the uh, fire extinguisher and stuff on the bottom. This one's such a ripoff. It's such a ripoff. This one's such a ripoff. I didn't even realize how much of a, a ripoff it was. Max Street Cleaner, it says, by the way. It is the Max Street Cleaner. Oh, there is the Street Cleaner. So this one, I think, has already been released in this deco. Um, if it has, I got it up there on the screen. I, I feel like this one has. This is also a ripoff of Matchbox, so they like to attack Matchbox for some reason. Uh, this one doesn't have like any uh, moving features per se. Um, I don't think the back opens up. Nope, it's all fixed. Everything is all fixed on it. it does have the little brushes on the side there for being a street sweeper. They are a little bit softer plastic, but nothing fancy. City Services, again, just a complete, complete ripoff. I always think it's hilarious to find uh, this kind of stuff, though, because every once in a while, they actually do a decent ripoff, um, and the casting's actually not that bad. I can tell you all these, though, thus far, are absolutely junk. Um, just completely, completely junk. Let's see what else we got going on in here. Oh, it's a ripoff of one of my favorite Matchbox of all time. The Chevy Top Kick, um, or I guess they call it the Plowmaster now, but it, it, it used to be the Chevy Top Kick. Um, again, exact, exact. It's even got the fixed um, plow on the front, although this is not part of the interior. It's just fixed in there with the rivet, so nothing fancy with that. Base deets. The back section here is plastic. The bed section is plastic. This is die cast. I mean, again, just a complete ripoff. Now, Matchbox has not released this casting with that deco, um, but this is, again, just another just a horrible, horrible ripoff. Um, even the way that's assembled, even having the uh, the uh, bed section here, a separate piece, it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. But that tractor, or that uh, Plowmaster, that is my one of my favorite Matchboxes of all time. All right, one more in here. This one is kind of the uh, roll-off. Um, or I guess this is a skip truck. It's not a roll-off. It's a skip truck. But this one is kind of like a, a micro version of the real working rig. So that's actually modeled off the Kenworth uh, W900 uh, real working rig from way back in the day. It's the cab part. Uh, it does have that moving feature on the back, as we saw, um, which is actually very level. and stays level as you move it. Looks, it looks pretty pretty decent uh, should pop off of there as well which it does this one's actually not bad see this is this is what I say every once in a while you'll find one that isn't very bad now I will tell you if you hold this in your hand you can tell it is super super cheap junk plastic but it doesn't look bad it doesn't look bad um, it's definitely cheap but it doesn't look bad uh, the fact that it has this moving feature which is pretty cool max is 5,000 kilograms that's just uh, that's a lot so but the prints are okay the uh, little uh, uh, recycle symbol is actually molded into the side and they print on the top that print actually looks pretty good it's actually a pretty decent um, quality of print so get that snapped back on there there's a little uh, little piece down in there in the bottom so that it'll sit in there um, which keeps it from uh, moving well should keep it from moving there we go there we go. Now it's fixed. It's like a lock for it, which is kind of cool. So I'll throw that down there. Throw that down there. Uh, one more in the box. This one's actually pretty cool. This one's also a miniature version of a real working rig. Uh, this is the vacuum truck. So this would be the M102 business class vacuum truck real working rig kind of shrunk down to uh, basic uh, size. It looks okay. It does have uh, you know double axles in the back, which is okay. A little bit different deco style, but still the same kind of idea. Uh, that's pretty cool. So the vacuum hose moves both directions, which is kind of cool. There is no interior, so no interior to the model, but the front looks pretty good. It kind of looks like the guzzler front end. I'll throw a guzzler up there, and you guys can see what I'm saying. Uh, totally looks like the guzzler front end. As a matter of fact, the whole cab looks like that. And then just the uh, vacuum section back here is 
is kind of a real working rig ripoff. And then, of course, the vacuum hose. But this actually looks pretty good. I think if you were a pretty good customizer of trucks, you could actually make this one look pretty good. It would need to be extended, so you could put like a bigger engine unit here, uh, maybe a little bit further back, move the tank a little bit further back, because uh, it's definitely too short. But uh, other than that, it doesn't look it doesn't look too bad. So throw that down there. So not a not a particular exciting uh, episode of found on Amazon. Sorry about that, but. Um, it's, it's all right. It's all right. I, I still search on Amazon almost every single day trying to find something kind of cool. Um, I just wanted to get another episode up on the channel just to let you guys know I haven't forgot about Amazon. So we're still bringing those. But, uh, yeah, if you got a comment, let me know about those. If not, catch you next time. As always, on Level in. Appreciate you. Peace.